Hi everybody. If you're new here, my name is Justina and welcome to my channel. I don't know how you ended up on this video, but I'm glad you did. This is a very cheap, easy, and fun way to make a costume like this. If you want to see how I created this cheap little look here, keep watching. Oh, but wait. Before you go and get lost into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Yeah. There's a lot of fun things that go on on this channel. You don't want to miss it. All right now. I'm done. Go on. I feel like my voice is still recovering from this day. It was a really bad day for my allergies, but stay tuned for the end of the video and comment below how many times I sneezed. Next, I'm going in with liquid latex. I'm basically just using it to create a little bit of texture around my mouth rather than it just looking flat. Next, I'm taking some scar putty and I'm just going to fill it in between the liquid latex. I had to clip out all the times I sneezed and I basically just added them to the end of the video because it would have been too distracting to have it in the middle. So the trick I learned is scrunch your forehead and your eyes when you're painting over just to create those little open gaps where your wrinkles are. Well, when you scrunch your face. Uh, that's kind of what he has in the pictures and the movies I've seen. This part is where you get to be creative. I use the brush just to lay the product on and I use my finger to just blend it and spread it out. As I'm sure you've seen, his mouth does not look clean at all. So you get to have fun here and spread it where you kind of make an evil, creepy, bloody smile. You can go without using this product. I only use it because I had access to it, but you can do the same thing with Red Snaz Real Paint. So I'm taking a small flat brush and I'm dipping into the black and snazaru and kind of enhancing the little wrinkles around the eye. I am smiling creepy just to make those lines stand out to me so I can kind of fill in and line them up. I'm taking this NYX liquid lipstick and I'm kind of just adding it in between the red uh, to create a little bit more of a bloody look looks more precise when you have a darker red in there and it's not just so plain red. I got a little carried away. I started painting my teeth yellow from the Snazaru palette and uh, would I recommend it? Kind of stains your teeth. I'm taking that black shadow and I'm just blending it around the eye just to give it more of a smudged look. Listen, sometimes I suck at voiceovers because half the time I don't even know what I'm going to say before I say it. You can totally skip this step. I just did it to add a little bit more green at my roots. It looked kind of flat. And this is the final look. If you guys don't notice, I, I mean, I have a deep voice in general, but my voice is deeper today because I am having an allergy attack. Um, but 
I want to get this done. I just got straight off of work, decided to hop right into my art studio and knock this out. I've been wanting to do this for so long. It's a super easy, cheap costume to do. You don't gotta use all these fancy products. You could use something so simple as like, like products that I was using, like stuff like this, Walmart, $3.98. With a lot of the looks that I do on my channel, I try to keep everything very, like, cheap. Uh, just because I want you guys to be able to create it at home. And I don't want you guys to spend tons of money just to create a look that's going to last in your face for a very short period of time, you know. You don't even have to use some of the products I'm using. I use a friggin' lip gloss, like a lip gloss. What are they? I just want to show you guys how to do this quickly. Um, it's not about being precise, it's all about being messy, but being messy in the right ways. You don't want to just slap something on, you want it to be like creative. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you wish to see more videos of me creating things like this, hit the subscribe button. And right after you do that, hit the notification bell and it'll notify you every single time that I post a new video. So, without any more talking because my voice is already kind of going out a little bit and my throat's kind of sore from talking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time. You just enticed me with a good time. Why so serious? Appreciate it.